Alright guys, and I bet you're wondering, how much money do I make as a front-end developer? I'll tell you right after this. Now, for those who don't know me, and if this is your first time to my channel, one thing you should know is that I do live in California, in a tech bubble, and when you do live in a tech bubble, developers tend to get paid better in these areas than through other places in the world. Now, something to note is that I do know a homie, and he actually is a remote developer, and he works for a company. All right, this plane needs to be quiet. You, hey, yo, air, airplane. Hey, yo, Delta, I see you, man. I'm talking to the camera right now. My bad, hold on. Anyway, let's go back to the topic. Because I live in a tech bubble, I live in California where there are a lot of tech companies, you know, the Silicon Valley, Valerie. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I need to stop drinking those energy drinks. There's Silicon Valley in Northern California. When you live in these areas, you tend to get paid better in these areas than anywhere else throughout the country and sometimes even the world unless you live in China because China is killing it right now in the tech industry and they're trying to recruit people even from here in California too. Now, the question of the day is how much do I make as a front-end developer? And people ask me all this time. They're always asking me, DMing me on Twitter, on Instagram, plug in, check it out, link in the description below, add me on social media. I wanted to go ahead and tell you front-end developers usually make in my area and throughout the country as well. And I think the better question is how much will developers make in 2018 as well? So let me go ahead and let's take out my phone. Um, and this is very interesting because I remember searching this stuff even last year and the salaries were lower last year than now when you look at the median and of how much uh, developers will make. Um, I am looking at payscale.com, right? I'm looking at payscale.com and I'm gonna look at other websites too so you can we can compare how much people actually make in my area. I'm looking at payscale.com and I'm looking for what is the average salary of a front-end developer engineer in Irvine, California. Now, I don't live in Irvine, but I'm right next to it. Um, and this is what the average salary for a front end developer, all right, who has some skill in this area is this, all right? Not, this is not a junior, this is a front end developer, which is what I am now. The average salary of a front end developer here in my area is $68,587. That's insane. Why? Because when I looked at this last year, and I specifically remember this because I wanted to see if what I'm getting paid is good enough. Last year, the average salary was fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year. But now, after the tech bubble and you know just the tech industry and just code in general is blowing up, not even just in the world, but even in YouTube, you can see all these coding channels popping up from everywhere, from here and there. It's insane now, right? But nowadays, when you look at it, the median salary is sixty-eight thousand five hundred eighty-seven dollars. That's insane, right? And not even just that, if you learn Angular, right? If you learn React, the average salary is in Orange County, 80 to 90,000 a year, if not even 100K plus, depending if you have two or three years of experience in React or Angular, and it's insane, right? It's crazy. Now, let me just go to another place. Now, for example, now let's look at how much a front-end developer gets paid in Texas. Let's just, just look at this right now. Now, look at the average web developer salary in Houston, Texas. The average salary in Houston, Texas, this is crazy, is $53,000 a year. That is crazy. Granted, okay, the taxes in Texas, there are no income taxes, but to be quite honest, the difference between $53,000 a year, $53,000 a year, and $68,000 a year is huge. That's a huge difference. Now, why do developers get paid more in California? Because it's extremely expensive to pay here. A house here that's worth 12, 1.2 million here in California can cost only $300,000 in Texas. So if I could choose a difference between here and Texas, I'd rather live in Texas. Why? Because it's so much cheaper. But California is where the weather is at, and this is where I'm at, and this is where Dale's life is at. Now, you have to think about it now. Now, the average salary in California for front-end developers is $68,000 a year. Now, for those who are just getting into it right and just getting into the industry let's look at the average salary of a junior web developer in orange county so but let's see what it says here so average web developer salary this is crazy entry level web developer salary here in orange county sixty three thousand dollars a year compared to a web developer in texas this is crazy man now when you think about it, man, like, just like, this is just not, this is for like companies that tend to make quite a bit of money too. Now, if you do work for a smaller company, a lot of times I've seen that junior developers, front end developers, even back end developers as juniors, you get paid about maybe $40,000, $45,000 a year. And I've seen salaries where it has gone up from ninety dollars to $120,000 a year. Now, also, it does depend on how much experience you have too. 
So the question of the day is, how much do I make as a front end developer? Guys, you really think I'm gonna tell you my salary? That is insane, man. All right, I'll tell you how much I make, ready? No, I'm just kidding. Man, I, I can't tell you how much I make as, as a developer. That's insane, who tells their actual salary? With my salary, I'm very happy. I live very comfortable. But like when I eat at a restaurant, I don't even worry about like how much the price costs. I just go in there and give my card. I'm not saying that's like your goal in life, your hope in life, but the fact that I went from living off cup of noodles and living off 49 cent tacos from Del Taco and living in my car for three months to where I am now is insane in the span of just two, of two years, 24 months. Why? Because I put in three months of pure hard work to learn code. You guys can do it too, man. I know, I know a lot of people hate on front-end developers, but man, front-end developers are needed. We are necessary, we are valuable, we are important to every single company because a front-end developer designs what the user sees first before even using anything with back-end development, right? So, all right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Man, kill it. Thank you for watching. And if you guys like this video, if this is the kind of videos you guys want, like this video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll do more of these videos as well. And also, by the way, because these videos take less editing compared to a vlog, that means I can push out more content every single day from Monday to Friday for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan. This is a life of a front end developer, web developer, software engineer, front end engineer, whatever you call it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.